The solar cell. What are solar cells? Solar cells are devices that directly convert light energy from the sun into electrical energy. So how does this work? Let's take a look inside the solar cell. The solar cell is made of an n-type silicon connected to a p-type silicon. This is known as a p-n junction. The reason why silicon has an n-type and a p-type is because the plates of silicon have undergone what we call doping. Doping is basically the addition of very very small amounts of impurities from the group 3 or group 5 elements in the periodic table so that the solar cell can transform light energy into electrical energy. The light globe is not on as there are currently no electrons flowing through the external circuit to do work. Fortunately, the sun emits light energy carried by photons which are absorbed by the n-type silicon. In doing so, this reduces the resistance of the semiconductor. Let's take an even closer look into the solar cell. Light has the effect of reducing the resistance of semiconductors by allowing some electrons to break free from the covalent bonds in the top layer of the n-type silicon, the region where the p-n junction is exposed to sunlight. The flow of these electrons generates current, however not all electrons are free as one photon can only give all of its energy to free one electron. This is known as the photoelectric effect. The electrons that have been liberated by the photons are now called photoelectrons. The photoelectrons flow from the n-type silicon into the external circuit as photocurrent. The photocurrent flows through the external circuit to do work. In this case, allow the light bulb to glow before returning to the p-type silicon. This process repeats as long as the sun is present to emit photons. But as sunlight becomes even stronger during the day, the sun emits even more photons, allowing more photoelectrons to be released. In turn, as current is a product of the number of charges which pass a point per second, this further increases the photocurrent and therefore reduces the resistance of the semiconductor. As a result, the solar cell can generate more electricity for society's use.